And I'm back with part two of how to make marbleized Christmas ornaments. I just did a bulb that um, wasn't completely dry, and I figured that I can go ahead and show you all part two. I'm going to go ahead. I have a pink bulb that I started with pink, but I also have the green one that I showed you um, in part one. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the green one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, I bought a cute uh, white paint that has iridescent glitter in it. I bought it today at Michael's and I never used this before but I'm going to try it because I thought that it was really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and put a little bit inside of the bug. Take a little bit, put it inside of the bug and I'm going to swirl it on the areas that I don't have the green paint in. And since it's not that much to work with as you see I'm going to leave I have to leave some room for the pink paint that I that I bought to put inside of the bug I can't do the green without the pink and so that's what it's looking like so far can you see that okay but you you can't see it I don't think you'll be able to see it on here I'm trying to get close thinking that you could. But this has, the paint has a real pretty iridescent glitter in it that's going to really set it off when the light from my tree hits a, hits a bug because my tree is white. So I think it's going to look really pretty. So that's what it's looking like so far. See, and then it's okay for a little bit of the paint to mix because it, it, it adds to the beauty of the bug. There you go. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a couple drops of the pink paint. Let me shake it up because, I, like I said, I don't want that white residue in here. Please make sure if you're working in your living room as I am, please make sure that you put something down on your carpet or on your floor. I have an old blanket that I love to use when I'm doing my craft, or an old sheet rather putting a couple of drops of the pink paint inside of the bug and what I'm doing is I'm beating it and swirling it and you don't have to be perfect when you're doing this because you you know you want it to be different and want to create different designs and stuff inside of the bug and like I said before it adds to the beauty of the bug. Uh, this is looking nice Oh, you guys are going to love this one. I love it already. Okay. And I'm trying to make sure that I have all the areas of the bug covered that the green paint did not um, cover. And I do. Voila. Oops, let me wipe a little bit of the paint off the bug. I got paint on the outside. Here you go. Can you see that? Oh, that looks nice. I am proud of my work. And this is the marbleized bug. I'm trying to make sure you can see all angles of it. There you go. Everywhere that the pink paint didn't get, or the green paint didn't get, my pink and my white did get it. And so, what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll put it back into the crate that the bug came in. And I will lay it on its side, and tomorrow I'm going to rotate the bug because um, what's going to happen is the paint is going to drain and settle at the bottom or the side of the bug. And I don't want a thick thing, even though people can't see on the inside of the bug, but I don't want that to settle on one side. And so I'm going to rotate it tomorrow so then that way any spot that may have come uncovered while it was sitting, I can recover it. And so I'll leave the leave this um, hanger thingy off of it but I'm going to put it on there so you all can see what it looks like with the stopper or the hanger on and then I think it's going to be really beautiful I have to do some tonight for my sister of course she wants blue and white and then I'm going to do some um, for my mother okay there you go oh that's nice and what I do is um, I like to use um, the um, ribbon 
I like to use the, um, oh, I don't have it with me, but the stringy ribbon or, or um, even if you want to go with lace ribbon or something like that, you can use that to put that on your, to um, hang it on your tree. There you go. Bye-bye. And if you have any questions, I forgot, if you have any questions, please feel free to inbox me and I will answer your questions. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.